Okay, we're here with President of Sailing Operations and Skipper for American Magic, Terry Hutchinson. Another uh, long day, good day on the water. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, great day. Um, I, mean, I think as you rightfully pointed out, the guys got in about six hours of sailing. Um, one battery change, so that was a uh, that was all in all, it was a really good day. You know, we're going through the uh, the teething problems with the boat. Not that they're problems, but I mean, you know, like any new boat, you have to work through these things. You can't um, you can't really give the uh, McConaughey's and the whole design structure behind uh, this boat enough props because they did a really good job. I mean, it's awesome to be two days into it, and basically the guys are out there ripping around. Uh, that's Cola Bay, so. All in all, a really good day. Were the minor problems you had today similar to what you experienced on Wednesday? Um, slightly different. You know, had a couple uh, battery shutdowns today and a couple little things there, but you know, the the um, the Defender they've been very responsive to our requests and you know they're working to help us get better and you know so all in all, I mean I I think for day two. I mean, it's pretty bloody good, so. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's really good. All right. What kind of things were you experimenting with today? Um, first part of the day, the guys were doing just a little bit of free sailing, uh, getting a feel for the settings of the boat in and around um, you know, various cant angles and sail setups. Uh, then we got into, in the second half of the day, they focused in a little bit more on the, you know, the true, you know, setting the boat to a certain target and seeing how they could learn to sail it there. Um, be it through cant or trim or, or sail settings. And then at the end of the day, we did, um, we got Riley on the helm and got Dan in trimming and we did a little bit of a crew rotation as well. So okay. I think we're looking forward to getting our second boat. When you get the second boat, what do you think you'll be changing first when it goes into LEQ mode? What are you most anxious to see? Uh, I think when we get the, you know, we have, we'll have two agendas there. One will be obviously foil development and the second one will be racing development. So. You know, we'll follow a, a logical progression there to, to set ourselves up nicely for AC 75 coils. Okay, all right. Um, you've had a chance to use most of the sails. Um, how do you think they look? They're black. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a trick question, Mike. I don't know. I mean, they look. I mean, on board they look pretty good, but our AC 75 sails look pretty good too. And you know, I mean, I think it's. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, we have the boat in a one design configuration, and so. You know, I think what you see is uh, a very well thought out package to get a lot of a lot of competitors into the boats. Okay, thank you for that. Um, what can you tell us about the plans for the youth and women's America's Cup, and and you know, like how you'll be handling coaching and giving them time on the water? Yeah, I mean that's a that's a the ten thousand dollar question because our focus is to win the America's Cup, and so you know we recognize that we have to develop and do those. Uh, we have to do the things here to help us develop uh, both three to win the America's Cup, and then there's also supporting that initiative, which we do. And so I think as we get into Spain and as we get into our operation of foil development and how that's all going, then we implement in what they're doing. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thanks.